There you are. Oh, greetings, biological organisms. I know I thought I was going to stop saying that, but let's see. Not a lot of time, so let's get right to it. Today we're going to be doing the Udez 3. No, not the Udez 3. The Strizvang S1. I guess I need to include the rentals. There we go. So it should be here somewhere now. I uh, except I'm just not say that. Ooh, no, 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 no. Where the heck? There it is. Crew incomplete. Three days of rental. All right. I also have like 16 battles other than the, the rental. The crew that I have in here is for my tier nine. Is that right? Yeah, 1030. 1030. Okay, for some reason I do not have my 103B crew in here, which is slightly superior. 3.8 versus 2. Um, so let's put the, the better crew in here. Send to barracks. S1. All right. I mean, that's a pretty good commander. But uh, the B. All right. Get the B in your bonnet. B. That's a good tank or two. And a B. All right. Quick thanks to our friends and news items. Uh, let's see. Where? Okay, we've got uh, fitness tick enter. Still, just my brain doesn't want to grab that. Uh, RJL2752 with the, the cheers there with the bits. Oh, he's got the, these kids today with their bits and the cheers. Uh, Eric the Pixel Pirate, Katana Fleet, Lord Money Monkey 2, KJ with the follow and the uh, the raid, Eggplant Crew, Section 8, of course, Tufel, our, our bestest friend. Uh, six months of consecutive uh, subscription, so if he believes in me, I don't know why you don't. Well, I don't know why he believes in me either, so that's not a very good argument. Let's see. That sounds like fun with a raid, Moki Hawk, Whoopin' Aces, Sturge Poo. That guy really wants more followers and subscribers, and so, you know, if you want to throw someone a bone. Uh, let's see. I'm 6 Watt, uh, raided with a party of 16. Cody Menz, the Watt Guru, is he actually on right now? He's not on right now, but, but I'm on right now, so that's good, right? Okay, the code for the weekend is... Um, the Hills. No, that's a song by the weekend. What now hack gets you three day rental of uh, the uh, Stutzvang S1? So that's good. It's it's a fun tank. It's got a different mechanic with that uh, suspension. Damn, we only have half an hour, so we need to get right into the game. W O T N O W hack H A C K uh, gets you three day rental. Put that in before Monday morning. And your golden showdown Saturday still canceled. So let's play a game. Let's play Global Thermonuclear War. Too soon. And let's click the battle. What is it about this tank? It's got the the pneumatic suspension, I think it is. Maybe it's hydraulic. But anyway, the uh, the treads have their standard orientation to the vehicle. But then when you're going slowly enough, it, the suspension can actually jack up the rear end, which gets you greater gun depression. It's got a fairly flat front, so you're relying a little bit on the angling of the armor, which is fairly thin, so it can be overmatched by larger caliber guns. But um, it also, you not only do you have a very flat angle for greater, more more likely to auto bounce and just b regular bounce, uh, but uh, also presenting a smaller target for your enemies to hit. This cupola on top here is a weak point. Uh, can we zoom in on that? Yeah, right here below the machine gun. So that is something to worry about. We've got a pretty good crew in here. I haven't played this in a while. I, I think it's only been a couple months I played one or two games in it. Uh, I think we were comparing it to the Tech Tree variant. Mm, feeling a little slow now. We do have a turbo in this, as well as uh, vents and binoculars. The crew, 
in case you missed it before. Brothers in Arms, Recon, Situational Awareness, which is actually the loader and the is the radio operator is the loader. We got snapshot, but it's not trained up yet. Uh, why don't I have clutch braking? Oh, because by turning more quickly, uh, you can get your gun on target faster. Okay, 4:30. Oh, I'm getting clapped from the side. I picked the wrong time to switch modes. I was hoping to get up here into this bush and snipe down, but that's not going to happen. We're in a tier 10 match and I'm a tier 8 tank, so this was a mistake. Most of these guys are going to overmatch my upper hull. Can we hit this? We can't hit the CDA if he's dead. Hmm, we've got some guys working close to the ridge up here. We might be able to get shots on them. I don't think so. I don't think they're that close to the edge. No. And I can't tell if we're going to lose the... Uh, by hitting X on the keyboard, I'm switching from uh, sniper mode or siege mode to travel mode. Depending on what they have in the field, this can be a good position. I'm not sure if we get a, a faster reload time. 8.93. No, we get the same reload time in the siege mode as the travel mode. I couldn't have gotten him anyway. That house was in the way. This Barask has moved up quite a bit. Can we get a shot on this Pershing? Oh, yes, we can tracked him so we got the assistance damage 559 assistance they've got an S1 right here be probably seeing more than you're used to this weekend with them being on the rental still no shots over the lip here Still no shot. Yeah, he's down below that. Horizon. Uh, wow, that's a weird place for that AMX. I'm going to move up. It's Oh, Leopard? No, don't have him. Oh, look at this Progetto. I don't know how I'm not spotted. But if I had noticed him a little bit sooner, I might have had a shot on him. I don't have a shot in this AMX. This guy's disappeared. Yeah, I'm just making bad choices. Looks like a win. XVM is saying 82% chance, but it makes mistakes. You know, plus when people get overconfident. I would never get overconfident. No shots over there. I'm going to get a little overconfident right now. That is pretty steep. Didn't take any damage, though. I'm an excellent driver. FE 40 out 5, briefly visible, but no more. Wow, we're, we're all. Oh, I can barely make it. I don't want to block my friend. I'll be spotted as soon as I. If I fire for sure. I can't quite climb that. I got spotting credit. I'm not sure I deserved it, but like Bachman Turner Overdrive, I took what I could get. <laughs> There's a Progetto lit, but he's way out of my draw distance. 
No shots here on the AMX. If he falls back more, maybe I'll get a shot. But he is loving that rock. Paul Simon, ladies and gentlemen. Get down on my knees and hug me. She love me like a rock. Okay, this is risky. Ah, crap. And, of course, as soon as I start moving, the enemies are spotted. Switching to siege mode. And, boom, take that out. Maybe I should have gotten after the 405, 40 out 5. And the only one left is the Progetto down by our base. And he's got a 3 versus 1 situation, so. Probably not going to go his way. Wow, look at my head. What's left of it? Whoop. Crane up! Crane up, cameraman. I have good posture today. See how long that lasts. Hey, lurkers. Welcome. All right. Any questions about the STR V1? Or should we compare it to the Tech Tree version? I'm thinking we need to go for another battle. I don't have any reserves on, uh, and we just sort of glanced over the... Uh, so, not a great performance. That's why we just went straight on to the next battle. So even with only two penetrations, we made 43 uh, gross and 36 net. Mm, yeah, no boosters. So you can make money just by not completely sucking. And, you know, staying, staying away from the premium ammo. You'll get hooked, kids. I'll send you to Skid Row. <laughs> oh, for years I thought Skid Row was just like a an idea. Like heaven. Uh, or Elysium, or I guess that's also heaven. But, but it's a, a real place not terribly far from where I grew up. Hashtag sheltered child. Uh, okay, their ISU-152K is a ringer. Their JAG-88 is really good. Better than me, anyway. The Kanon and Jagdpanzer is decent. And their ELC even 90 is pretty good. Or is this assault or standard battle? Oh, yeah, I mean, they wouldn't have a flag if this were assault. So I think I'm going to run for the island. We have two, three anonymized players on our team. They have two anonymized players on their team. One's in a Barrasque, one's in an IS-6. So with the IS-6 player, you can suspect, uh, is it a 6B? No, it's a 6, that uh, he's been around for a while. And then the uh, Barrasque could be good, could be awesome, could be mediocre. But typically, mediocre players uh, play a few games in the Barrasque and realize that the tank is not going to save them from their lack of skill. I'm, I'm kind of that way myself. Mm, is he going to run for the water? He looks, like, it looks like he's running for the castle. We have too many people right here. So now I've got to either contend for a spot or not. Okay, these guys don't know what they're doing. And wow, my throughput just canceled there for a little bit. The Barask is looking the other way. So I'm just going to go ahead and knock some trees. All right, now that'll give me a line of sight to this ridge if I need it. Let's go ahead and get into siege mode. And I'm probably just wasting my time here. Whatever happened to default? They had that one song. They're almost like a one-hit wonder. All right, so we got a spot on the Scorpion G. Nobody fired, and I wasn't going to fire when I was... because 
if I could see through the bush when I fire, I'm going to be spotted. Almost guaranteed. It looked like he was going to run away, but it's quite possible that he was just psyching us out. And he's going to go right back to the same spot. That's what I would do. IS-6 making a bold move. Right. Click on F to trundle backwards, and then we'll take a shot right here. And fall back even more, just in case. I have no idea if I hit anything. That IS-6 might be... He might push through the past the uh, corner here. If he does, more guns are better. Or the Barask might get a little bit brave himself. We're far enough back in the trees we probably weren't spotted. Load, damn you, load! I'm going to be spotted if I fire here. I should be okay. Waited for him to get behind the bush. Reduce the... And the IS-6 is dead. To reduce the uh, probability of being spotted. 536 damage. Unless we actually blind-fired that scorpion. Which is... Possibly not the case. Oh, no! I'm immobilized. And I'm hoping that it's going to be faster for me to do a normal... Or a retreat in siege mode. Okay, we bounced a shot from the Kanonen Jagdpanzer and the P-44. Don't know if I'm still spotted, so I'm going to fall back. There's no artillery. Okay. Whew. Yeah, it's not like I'm going to go anywhere. But if they push up to the bush, they, they have a chance of seeing through without being proximity spotted. So I am... Oh. If I'm spotted, I'm dead. I was not spotted, so I think someone else actually spotted the Barask. I'm going to go to travel mode. Oh! I got a Barask behind me. That's a good player. Friendly type. Don't want to block his friends. I'm not sure if this vehicle is as fast forward as it is in reverse, or if it's just nearly as fast. Oh, let's get into siege mode. If he gets spotted, we've got a pretty good chance of taking him out. Hmm. Okay, I shouldn't need to worry about that guy. Maybe. I might need to worry about that guy. Don't need to worry. No one needs to worry about that guy. Oh, I saw, I saw a pixel. It's gone now. There was a shot I could have taken. Is he going to peek? And I can't tell what this Vato is doing. He's back behind the wall. He had a couple chances where I had a low probability to hit. Probably should have taken it. Oh, he's pushing. Let's make sure that we're not spotted. He's just... Oh! Pfft. That was me. I saw it light up. I thought I had the shot. I did not have the shot. Once we're reloaded, though, I think I can fire through this wall. Take him out. Baraskis did. So now we need to worry about the ELC, if worry is indeed the right word. Mm, competent player. He could be throttling. If he has Commander's vision system, and I get uh, up here in the bushes, then 
It's not gonna work out for me. Knocking that tree down uh, would have been a clue for anyone paying attention. So, we don't know where the bad guys are. They could be back here on the K line, they could be over here in the corner. Someone thinks they're over here. I can take a chance on getting over here to these trees. I'm not going to get any points if I don't. So I'm looking for an opportunity to cause more damage. And there's a chance I could be spotted by someone over there. I'm spotted by someone over there. Yeah, I, they... I could have been spotted while I was approaching. But with the Barast there... And I don't know if I'm still spotted or if I'm despotted. Which is a little like unspotted. I'm probably still spotted. Unless it was that Kanonen Jagdpanzer that originally spotted me and he was far enough behind the bushes that. Ah, too slow. That's why I'll never be a unicorn. It's one one reason. I aimed a little low. Who's left? The ISU one five two K. No tell him where he is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play it safe. Although, with that Barask up there. Yeah, unless he's like right there or right there, I'm not going to get a shot on him. If he's, yeah, if he's across the river, also not going to get a shot on him. Except for right there. Okay, that guy got shot, so he's probably over here. Oh, ho, ho, the pixel shot! Actually, I shot through some uh, destructible items. Nope, oh, he's falling back, so I might get a shot. Oh, goodness gracious. Farm. Load faster! Alright. Take the win. 2400 damage, almost 25. Yay! Gotta celebrate those little wins. Then we wait. Oh my god, 920. So, I think we can do one more game. We'll do one more in the S1 unless someone really wants to see something else. Like the Tech Tree version. Um, top 5... Grossed 77,000, netted 59, so our repair bill wasn't too bad. And our ammunition, we fired 11 rounds. So that looks like ammunition's a little bit expensive, doesn't it? I don't think I fired any premium rounds. Yeah! So the ammunition is a little expensive, and you're only doing 390 damage, but you get 288 penetration, fairly accurate. You're, you've got a pretty good chance of hitting and pinning if you're playing against other tier 8s and lower. All right, I don't see any suggestions. So we'll do the S1 again. And then we'll play the music and say goodbye. The Tech Tree version is the... I don't even see it. Oh, there it is, the Udez 03. And I have not mastered either of them. 
hopefully when my three day oh one other thing I wanted to check if you put in that code for the three day rental okay you also get the mission for we're searching for commander AF here not in a creepy way I may have already beaten the mission um i don't see it on here battle pass oh there it is it was the first one <laughs> it was the first um do five thousand damage uh over the course of the weekend and get six chili peppers okay and two cinnamon bun with coffees and you can only accomplish that once so that's the consumable for swedish tanks cruise swedish cruise Hmm. Crew 2.0. Do you think they're going to screw it up, or do you think it'll actually be okay? The last thing that they that they said this is going to be the new two Crew 2.0. God, it was horrible. It was horrible. Feel pardon my French. Okay, I am in the S1, right? I know I clicked on the yeah. Stuttgartwagen. S1, or however you say S in Swedish. Shoot the red tanks often. They like it. Mm. Where the hell are we? We're here. So, gonna do what I always do. Work the K-line. Oh, K-line. Also always reminds me of K-line. Have you seen the whole season three of the Orville five stars at least four stars it's it's hard to it's hard to be like super I don't know what I'm trying to say here like be critical and highly recommend it because it takes itself it it does deal with some some serious themes but it tend the the show itself tends to not take itself too seriously so it's easy to overlook when they're dealing with something serious that they're dealing with something serious because they're just people who, you know, don't mug a lot and wax dramatic. And then I, I kind of um, disagree with some of their takes, the perspective, especially when it comes to, oh, Maybe if I shoot that? No, that's... Oh, maybe that... Okay. So I don't know if I can get through his turret. I suppose I could get through his turret. I thought he was behind the mosque. He's just behind a couple of... Uh, I knocked that building, or top off of that building. He's just behind a couple of uh, destructible buildings. And now he's behind this building... And he's a goner. I haven't started the on track for the... Should I just try to drill through the buildings? It'll take more than that. Plus, he'll have to be spotted. Hmm, that didn't break. Maybe it went high. And that didn't break either. I didn't hit the sand dune, so I don't know what happened there. Maybe it's, maybe that's just un indestructible when you get to a certain point. Oh, I got some pixels. Yeah, it's still not going to work.
Yeah, even... It, that's fine. I still wanted to shoot the building. Yeah, the, that building only breaks to a point. What are those breaking points with Crystal Ball and Sagar on Jetty? Why did someone click here? So we're full health. We've only done 337 damage. Maybe we should be a little aggressive. <coughs> we're up on tanks, but not by too much. Let's go into this dip. So that SE-130 PM got taken out. I'm going to jump over here if I can. Not s oh wait, there's somebody. Did he spot me? He did not spot me. All right, let's go into siege modes because I can only depress my gun so far if I don't. And as we're working a ridge line here, kind of want to be able to depress. Hey, hello, well, hello there. Probably kind of want to be able to depress that gun. Tempted to go into, yeah, let's go into travel mode. We'll get over, oh, there's a scorpion. Now you can only dip that gun so far. Oh, man. I think that T25 spotted me. Well, if he's going to push this way, then I'm going to push this way. And I can't see, can't quite get that gun down. That scorpion should be over there. I don't know if he was running or coming this way. We know that, okay, I was about to mark where I thought the artillery was. There's two of them though, so it could have been the other one. Oh man, that siege mode, so slow. I aimed a little low, still connected. A little worried, I was a lot worried about it hitting the dirt. Okay, well, um, we're actually doing surprisingly well. We started off slow. Whoa, we lost a track. Let's go ahead and heal that. He He's going to be dead before we can get to him. Oh, if I had... Ah, if I had stayed in siege mode, right? I should be expecting another artillery round here in a moment. You can fire when you're not in siege mode. You just have practically no elevation control. But if you come right up to somebody... There was a moment there where the cursor was over his tank, but <clears throat> it was very brief. Artillery and light tank. So we'll probably go up and shotgun the artillery. Ah, oh, crap! See, that lack of elevation control when you're in travel mode. Victory spin. Well, it's 9.30, so we need to wrap it up. Any parting words? I appreciate you guys being here. Even if you were very quiet. You know, most of the time I'm out in public and I wish people would just shut up. But, you know, this is, this is not that. So, anyway, I hope you guys had fun. What do we do here? <clears throat> so, top five again, even though we played it very safe early on. Uh, 56,000 gross ammo. We fired 13 shots? Oh, because I was knocking buildings down. And at 1,000 uh, per round, or 1,100 per round, 11 feet, whatever. Uh, that adds up. So, and we had a little bit of damage. So we only grew, uh, netted 39,000, but still, come on. And of course, this is a premium, so if you don't have a premium account, it still would have been 20000 It's a tank you can make money with. Um, you kind of got to get used to the, the mechanic of manually switching from uh, 
travel mode to siege mode. I'm not sure I have the best equipment on here. It is fairly slow without the turbo, but you know, you're only getting what 10% improvement with the turbo. Climbs hills a little bit better. Getting into position as early as possible is beneficial. So there's that. Putting a rammer on this would bring the average DPM up and with a fire rate already at six point, that's the, yeah, no, that's rounds per minute. So reload speed, 8.93. So you take off almost a full second uh, if you put a rammer on. And Oh, and this is with uh, cinnamon buns. Ooh, I only have five in the depot. So not running a fire extinguisher and these premium consumables can get expensive, especially if you don't buy them ahead of time when they're on sale. Anyway, that's a quick look at the S1. Um, so it's free rental this weekend. Go ahead and uh, check it out for yourself. And again, that code is uh, what now hack. There it is, W-O-T-N-O-W, hack, put that in on their, the web page where you put codes in. Google it. Uh, get that three-day rental. It's it's a good tank. It's an interesting tank. A uh, couple of things we didn't we didn't do any um, poking ridge lines while we were spotted. So, but I, well, a little bit there. Uh, the map where we were on the little island with the river by the castle. I don't know the name of it, uh, but, but we did poke up. We'd got a shot on, I think it was the Scorpion, uh, might have been the Barask, and then we were taking incoming fire, and we bounced two shots, one from the P-44, one from the Canonian Jagdpanzer, 105 caliber. So maybe he hit our barrel. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, 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 oh. Um, battle hits. <clears throat> Me, and can I select... Erlen, wow, we only played three games. So the P-44, he hit us pretty low, and he hit us in the suspension. So can't give the armor too much credit there. But here, uh, with that angle, so we bounced a shot there, and then the Kanon and Jagdpanzer, the, basically the same shot. So if we had had been a little bit more nose down when the round came in, it might have penetrated. Maybe. Uh, and those are the only ones we bounced. This one, even at this angle, this is from the Scorpion G. So a lot of penetration. And the dotted line is here, but it may have counted it as the, the cupola. Probably not, though. But it's that's almost an auto-bounce angle, so he may have overmatched us. Although for some reason that 105 did not overmatch us. Not exactly sure why. And then here, uh, yeah, it could be that these tracks actually add a little bit of spaced armor. And that may have been enough. Uh, yeah, but here it just goes right through with that 105. And that's, I think that was probably an overmatch. Anyway. Gotta go. Appreciate you guys being here because it's always more fun when you're here. Click the things. You know what to do or not do or whatever. <sighs> Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, be well. <laughs>